here. It's Lisa Chell from Modern Vegan Family and today you're in Chell's Kitchen where we're going to be making collard wraps. Now some of you might not be familiar with collards. They're a big green leafy vegetable. They look like this. Um, we can't always find them in the grocery store in our town so when I do I get pretty excited and last week I was walking through the grocery store and I saw these collards and you know I was looking through the pile and I could sense this woman behind me and she was looking over my shoulder and kind of loitering around behind my body and hanging off at a distance but I could still feel her there so once I had chosen my collards I moved down the vegetable aisle and I was picking someone else and I saw her swoop right into the collards and she started started looking at them and and I was watching her and she looked up and she said I'm sorry I was watching you but I've always wondered what what these are and what you do with them tell me what you do with them and I said well I love to use them as wraps because um, a I'm trying to up my raw vegetable or my veggie content in my diet as many people will in the new year and also I have someone in the house who eats gluten free and wraps are an amazing way to have a, a delicious meal, um, make burritos or whatever you want to stuff them with and keep it gluten free and really healthy. So this is how you use a collard wrap. And this is how I use it. I don't, it's not 100% raw because I steam them a little bit to make them easy to work with. So you take this big leaf and I cut off the bottom part of the stem. I have some boiling water here beside me or you can have a pot that's steaming if you prefer to steam them and I just very very briefly put the wrap in the water so this is not a hundred percent raw but this makes it much easier to work with trust me so I just blanch it a bit flip it over I want that thicker part of the stem underneath to be a little bit soft so you can see it turns quite bright green and then I lay it out on the board. Now this part's quite important for having a nice roll. I take a very sharp knife and it's almost like you're filleting and I just very carefully slice off or sh shave I should say that's the word shave this bottom part of the stem so that there's not a thick stem there trying to be careful not to cut through the wrap. Then I flip it on the other side again. So there is my shell for my wrap all ready to go. Now today I'm going to be making a little bit of a Mexican filling. So I'm using some uh, organic whole grain brown grain rice blend. I'm putting in a little bit of black beans, a little bit of corn, some red pepper, some sliced green onion, some cilantro, so this is a very Mexican inspired filling today. Now in this particular wrap that I'm making today I'm not spicing the filling because it's, today it's all about the sauce that I'm going to be dipping it in at the end. I'm going to be using a homemade Catalina sauce that and my son taught me to really appreciate Catalina sauce with um, taco salads and such so I'm going to put a little bit of this mixture on the leaf like that to make a little bit of a filling center it in the leaf so just like you're making a regular burrito except it's going to be in a collard wrap it's lovely and to have a little bit of crunch factor I've got a little bit of crushed organic Taco chips, can put that on there. That ups the crunch. And some fresh guacamole. Mmm, yummy. All right, so to fold this in, now you're going to see why it's important to shave off the stem. So I take these two ends and I fold them over like this. So if this stem was really thick, it would be pokey and hard to fold and it might poke through your collared wrap. Then I just take this wrap from here and tuck it in nice and tight and voila look at this beautiful green <laughs> luscious filled with mostly raw veggies and healthy ingredients absolutely delicious so let's make one more really quick so that you can watch the process again cut off the stem take your tongs either do a, a light blanch or a steam
take it out of the water, do a shave on the stem. This is where sometimes it can get a little bit tricky. That's all good. Roll it over. Put some delicious filling in. And then fold. So you can see it's quite fast actually. It's very simple to make. It's a very simple meal. You can whip up anytime. And then you can pat yourself on the back because instead of a bunch of heavy starches, you rolled your delicious ingredients in the green wrap. And then we're just going to slice it down the middle here. Of course, your fillings, fillings are always up to you. Whatever you like, you can spice it. You can do whatever you want. Look at that beautiful wrap. And I made this lovely uh, homemade Catalina sauce that's going to go on top of there. I'm going to take a nice messy bite. Oh, wow. You are definitely going to want to come back to, to the next video of this Catalina sauce because it is amazing. So there you go. Super healthy. For the most part, whole foods. You're going to love it. Go home, try it, fill it with anything that you want. Please subscribe to the channel. Come back and visit often. New videos going up all the time. Peace, love, and plants.